Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair Podcast Tapping Recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for Podcast 40, Tips on Dealing with Stress During the Virus Scare. We'll start out with a deep breath first. We're going to start with the karate chop and these three statements. Even though there'll be times in my life when the world is in crisis and I worry about those times, about my part in it and how I'll work through it even though that may be true. I have confidence in my ability to handle situations as they come up. Even though the world goes through crises and I just have a small part to be able to handle. And I get concerned in my ability to handle that crisis. Even though that may be true, I totally and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though, sometimes, people panic over world events, and I fear that I'll get wrapped up in that same panic, even though that may be true. I want to honor the feelings around that because it's in honoring the feelings that I can heal the feelings
and give myself confidence in supporting myself in handling that panic and crisis. Now I'm going to go above the eye and start the sequence. I wish to make it through any time the world is in crisis. I wish to stay calm when the world is panicking. I want to stay healthy But all I hear is fear talk. The news doesn't seem good. I try to avoid it. But instead I take it in. It's really hard to avoid. I want to take care of the ones that I love. I want to take care of myself. But that seems difficult when the whole world's panicking. When the whole world is in crisis. Sometimes I feel hopeless. Sometimes I feel helpless. And I can feel the stress around that. I know the stress is not good for me. I wish to reduce the stress I know and understand the things I need to do in order to take care of myself. I just don't always do them. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't have the strength. In these present times, I know it's vital to take care of myself. And I know there are others that I must help take care of too. They are important too. But I have been told that I must take care of myself first. That is hard for me to take in. I believe they need help before I do. And I'm realizing now, I've been taking care of others for a long time. And at the same time, not taking care of myself. Might it be possible? that I need to focus now on me.
That seems selfish. Otherwise, I may not be able to take care of others. It is so overwhelming. I've worn myself out in helping others. I have exhausted myself. And when I get into a panic, I tend to turn to taking care of others instead of myself. I believe now it's time to focus on me. I choose now to begin focusing on me. Not to the detriment of those I care about, but in actuality, it is to their benefit. Because the better that I am, the better the care for them will be. The better I take care of myself will allow me to take care of others better. I choose now to begin being more healthy for me. I choose now to understand that by taking care of myself, I can have much more balance in taking care of others. Because I'm realizing now it is not not better to give than receive. It is better to have a balance of giving and receiving. So it's important for me to take care of myself. Through times of crisis and through times of peace, I must take care of myself in order to take care of anyone else. So I choose now to take care of myself, especially now in these times of crisis. I choose now to be healthy and confident myself. I know that was a s some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, 
be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping, and keep tapping, and have a great day.